Hey YouTube, you already know who it is. You've seen this location before, I know. You're probably wondering, well, why the fuck are we still sitting in this location? Well, I'm gonna pack me a lip first, then I'll show you why we're still in this location. Dipping Copenhagen Long Cut today. And if I sound weird, I've been sick. So, don't fucking judge me. I'll come to your house and whip your goddamn ass. God. Fucking people judging me. Now, I got you in this location because this was the first on location I did. Um, and you're probably thinking, well, this, this doesn't have any sentimental value to me. It doesn't have any to me either, but I'm in this truck because I need to show y'all what happened to it. So, come on, let's go. Don't mind that. That's just fucking over there. here because it's nice out and you can probably already say that something happened to my truck. Well, yeah, something happened to my truck. Get you a better shot at this. You see in there? Yeah, there ain't no radiators. You know why there ain't no radiator? Because radiators laying over. I'll show you what happened to the radiator. See that? Uh, this thing picked up with that damn cord out of the way. Yeah. She took a pretty hard hit. Now, I Took the front end out of it. I uh, got it all straightened back out. Most of you already know what happened. I probably, if if I talk to you on here, you know what happened. And I uh, took the bed off of it because over on the driver's side, the cab's sitting off a little bit. So we're gonna fix that, okay? But yeah, this is my backyard. See that? Look at all the pretty. Look at the junk. Look at the damn brush pile. My neighbor's house. My building. Go home and you're fucking horn at me, people. Now, back porch, yeah, it's, it's dirty. But we're gonna go there, okay? This will be the grill out of my picket. And that would be a mud jug. By the way, if you don't have a mud jug, go get yourself one. Do yourself a favor. That yeah, was retarded, but uh, yeah, that's what happened to the grill. God damn, this thing's kind of heavy. See it? Yep. Now, for most of you who don't know, I hit a, another truck with my truck, and it just turned out that that truck was bigger. Now, you're probably wondering what the fuck kind of truck I hit. Well, I hit a 95 Dodge Ram with the Cummins in it. A little bit taller than my truck. But uh, you see where it's kind of been out right there. Yeah, that's where a Reese Hitch went through and hit my radiator. So, yeah. 
Now, if you're wondering what the fuck I'm driving now, I ain't really driving anything. I've been driving every other vehicle I can. But, I'll show you what I'm fixing. It's sitting right up there. You can see that. And, actually, come on. We're going to get a closer look at this thing. See my pretty camper. It's muted. You're probably wondering why the fuck I'm fixing this thing, too. Well, it's a Chevy. Plain and simple. That's all I got to say about it. It's a Chevy. Hey, I'll get inside of it for you. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, I got a little bit of work to do to it. But this just so happens to be my daddy's old car. And he told me that if I wanted to, I could fix it up and drive it. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm fixing it up and driving it. So I'll get money to fix my S10. And oh yeah, there's my bed. I might edit that out, I don't know. I probably won't. I'm a lazy fucker. But, the only thing I don't like about it is that right there. You probably can't see that because it's probably not even in the shop. But, it's a fucking automatic. And for those of you who know me, talk to me on Uvu and shit, you guys know I hate automatics. Automatics suck. I don't know why I hate them so much. I just, I can't stand driving an automatic. But, we'll get this thing fixed. It needs a lot of fixing done, but I got the shit to fix it. Uh, the only thing that's wrong with it right now is transmission, which it runs. It still runs, but. The overdrive is fucked up in it. I'll be going down the highway probably 65 miles an hour. Overdrive kicks in at about 45. <coughs> and the overdrive doesn't kick out until you drop down to 25. So you can see where it's kind of a problem. Let's just say I don't climb hills for shit. But, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd do another on location video for y'all. Um, damn, I didn't even realize I was going that long. We're going on eight minutes. Shit. But, yeah, I need to put me a radio in this thing. Um, but,. Yeah, guys, this is all I'm going to say for now, so, you know, I just thought I'd give a little update video on what's going on with everything, let you know about my truck, it really sucks, not even going to lie, it's, it sucks, I caught hell from dad about it, I caught hell from mom about it, uh, got a reputation as a bad driver now. Which, I'm really not that bad of a driver. This was a... Why it happened, it was a mechanical... Let's see if I'm still going here. Yep. It was a mechanical malfunction in the truck. The clutch went out. I didn't have enough time to stop. So, yeah, guys. For now, this is Schultz 51. I'm going to get out of here. I got some shit to do. Uh, subscribe, comment, like. I got 45 subscribers now. I'm getting closer and closer to 100 every day. Not really. But, uh, 
Catch y'all later. It's been Schultz 51. Keep dipping, spitting. Get yourself a mud jug. Um, keep doing your thing. I'm going to keep doing mine. And I'll catch y'all later. Peace.